Good morning, children. Yesterday we had begun the sound of music by Debro Coughlin, and uh, this first part of the story it deals with an Evelyn who was a great singer beside being a deaf, and she was a great motivator, inspiration for those handicapped people. We will read here the uh, that is at what age she became a deaf, and then um, uh, how she was able to who was the inspirational uh, people in her life who inspired her, who motivated her to be a great musician. Yesterday we had done. that evelyn mother she discovered she was a she belongs to a scotland and um, her mother had discovered that at the age of 8 that she was deaf but it was confirmed when she was at uh, that is 11 years and the uh, and we also uh, see that uh, it talks about that it was about the gradual nerve damage because of which she became deaf then it talks the second part that we did yesterday was about the uh, being deaf she was determined to lead a normal life although despite being handicapped evelyn wanted to lead a normal life and she played a musical instruments that was known as xylophone but the teachers they discouraged her so um the ron forbes he played a very important role in her life and uh, he came across that he spotted in fact the potential that she had and um, she advised her to not to listen the music through the ears but listen the music through the other parts of the the body she uh, that is to the other parts of the body this is what it talks about the uh, the the first part that uh, we did yesterday today we shall be reading about her achievements and first the achievement evelyn joined um, um joined a young orchestra and she scored the highest history of the audition for the royal academy of music for playing a xylophone then she moved from orchestra uh, orchestra work to the solo performance after her 3 years she got most of the top awards and then later achievements talks about she is now at the top and she is the most popular multi percussionist in the world and she she has mastered over 1000 instruments and she speaks scottish fluently and has learned the french and japanese also this uh, this line, line shows that she knows various languages and in 1991 she was honored with the soloist of the year award and inspiration for the handicap she gives a regular concert she gives a free concerts in the school as well as in the hospital and she inspires young musician she gives a inspiration to those who are deaf like despite her achievement she is quite humble and a simple minded girl and she is a inspiration for the rest now the second part of the story if we talk it is about the shehnai that is shehnai you have heard that is and the great shehnai wadan was a bismillah khan um from india okay this part it includes it describes about the whole life of bismillah khan is an example of success through a sheer dedication and a hard work bismillah khan loved banaras and played a shehnai in many of the temples belonging to a family of a shehnai players and he got a big break with the opening of all india radio in lucknow he played shehnai on the auspicious occasion of national freedom in 15th august 1947 he gave many memorable performances in india and abroad his film career was a brief as he did hold a good opinion of a film world in 2001 that he was honored with the highest civilian award for the country which was known as bharat ratna we talk about shehnai shehnai at his early stage when the people they didn't even know about the shehnai at that time it was banned because its shrill voice it irritated the people and it was not considered as a good and so it was bismillah khan who 
through his experience and through his um, you know uh, the uh, great effort he was able to convert the 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 instrument into a better instrument with a better voice and he made this instrument a uh, famous in india and it also we also see that in august 15 when india um, that is got freedom and it was bismillah khan who played this chennai on 15th august 1946 and it was it is a great respect for um our nation and for us so we shall be now beginning the other part the same that is of bismillah khan its origin bismillah khan's birth his childhood tomorrow thank you students